This is basically the final layout. That's how it's gonna look. I might make this line and this line steeper after, but I'm gonna leave enough room where I can play with. Uh, yeah, I'm starting a little farther out, just so I can get a concave uh, look to it. And I'm gonna be using this dremel make this fine cuts, and then I'll use the actual grinder for the metal brackets if I don't like it. How they look once I put this on. I'll use the metal grinder to cut that off. As you can see, this is cut, and then I just peeled the blue tape off, as I said. I flipped it and taped it back up on this side. As you can see, it's folded. So it should be pretty much on. Slightly different, maybe, which is okay. That's the look. I have to probably cut a little more here. Or I might leave it the way it is, but I kind of want to see that. Yeah, I have enough room. I'll cut enough where it hits the metal. And then I'll worry about the turret signals and stuff. I might leave this metal here and stick a turret signal here. So, we'll see. I do like the look so far. It's probably gonna look better in, uh, in white. So, yeah. We'll continue this. So. needs to be fixed maybe with a with a light or i'm gonna add another layer of uh, the body that i have left over so it could stay it could stay as low as this metal piece right here we'll see so far it looks like the basic idea of what's happening i got this wrapped the first piece and the second piece second piece is the surprise i was talking about in the video i had two measurements extra ones left over and uh, after i put the first one on it looked really empty and far away from the tire, so I did the tail light body work. It's offset by a half an inch almost. It's about, it's more than a half an inch in the front and half an inch on the side, basically. So you get that, you get that double dagger kind of situation. And then uh, to secure the wrap to the body, I'm using the regular rubber gasket. So yeah, it looks good. It gives it a nice Oreo look. Black, white, black, white. It is satin color. It doesn't match. It is satin color. It does a one-to-one -one match the bike, but it's it's something. Only problem I'm having right now is basically trying to. I want to reuse this racket. The bolts that I got are not are not long enough. 
because I want to have a gap here as big as this one and I want to put a light in there so it makes more sense to get a bigger bolt and do it once and do it right deal I'm gonna wire the two lights in series and flip the turn signals or I might just run the one side turn signal because they are sequential and I don't I, I want it from uh, one side to the other side but when I put it on it kind of looks ugly and um, I might not run with that but I am gonna run with sending the covers down because as you can see when you turn it these are less visible and that's what I want more, more of a diffused light than a direct LEDs that you could see from the bottom even though it's gonna be hidden so let's do that and then we'll work on a, another light that we have this is more of a background ambient uh, underglow kind of light it's gonna be in between the two fenders don't mind my stove but this is how it's gonna be I use a 30 pound oh, 30 pound uh, adhesive and I also tilt it up on this side that way the knees are hidden when you're looking in. See, now I'm gonna fix that point right there to make it look nice. And uh, I'll probably silicone behind it, just in case. Silicone under it, just in case. And then I'll black tape this so it's all black. All right. I'm also using the white silicone to seal the back all around. Right, this is the basic overview i'm trying to figure out the wiring and uh, trying to figure out how the shading is going to work because i'm going to have a gap here which was intentional because the porsche taillights do come out here and stop in the middle so i'll probably have to black out that light a little more and i'll have a main light down here too hopefully hopefully if, if it fits if not then i'll have to probably make my own again so let's do this Put a black heat shrink and an electrical tape on those bolts. That way when you look under it, it won't stand out because they're silver. Uh, you could paint them, but I went with this kind of style just in case I want to remove and add with something. That's the basically the look. So you're going to look it from the top. You're gonna to have that glow, and uh, you have the glow here with the gap in the middle. All the bolts are black. And then you have that same, same continuous line on this side. And this, I'm gonna put it here for temporary use. I do have a different tail light coming. Okay, so basically I'm having this. Uh tough time here basically I'm having a tough time here trying to link up all the lights and I think I do like this frequency See, if it keeps tapping like that but this will flash and it comes back I do like that so I'm just gonna fix this here make it tight and uh, solder these two and this two together to link them together both light come on at the same time and then uh, we should reassemble it. I took this light off. 
because of this. I mean, it has really, really thin wires, and I don't know if I trust that enough. So if this works because it's thick, if this works, I'm gonna keep this light and just keep that light. If it doesn't work, I might take it off and put that one back on. But I really wish this works because it does look good. It has that accent on both sides that I like. All right, here I go. I'm also siliconing uh, the back of it. So when you look through, you don't see that black line, you're gonna see it white. I'll do another coat after this is dry to fully eliminate these black spots. Make that a little cleaner. And I might build up here just so we could have that fully disappear. Yeah. Why you wanna go there? We went to this. Place. 